Hello dear students, looking at the video, what did you think? What are we going to learn about? Did you say human evolution? Yes, I knew my students are intelligent enough to guess today's topic. Indeed, it is about human evolution. But before we learn about human evolution, let's recall what we learnt in our previous lecture. In our last lecture, we learnt about Darwin's theory of natural selection, Lamarckism and speciation. So now, we will move to our next topic that is human evolution. The last dinosaur which disappeared 7 crore years ago. At that time, monkey-like animals were said to be evolved from some ancestors who were more or less similar to modern lemur. Tell of these monkey-like animals of Africa is said to be disappeared about 4 crore years ago. They developed due to enlargement in brain and their hands were also improved. Thus, ape-like animals were evolved. Meanwhile, these ape-like animals reached the South and Northeast Asia and finally evolved in Gibbon and Orangutan. Remaining ape-like animals stayed in Africa and from them, gorilla and chimpanzee evolved about 2.5 crore years ago. Evolution of some of the old species of apes seems to be occurred in different way. They had to use their hands more for eating food and other work. Those apes started to live on land as the forest started to decline due to dry environment. Their lumbar bones developed in such a way that they started to stand in erect posture in grassland and thereby their hands became available for use anytime. These first human-like animals were evolved about 2 crore years ago. Ramapithecus ape from East Africa was the first record of human-like animals. Afterwards, these apes grew in size and became more intelligent and thus ape of South Africa evolved about 40 lakh years ago. Their morphology started to appear like Homo and about 20 lakh years ago, skilled human developed. About 15 lakh years ago, human walking with erect posture was evolved. It may have existed in China and Indonesia of Asian continent. Evolution of upright man continued in the direction of developing its brain for the period of about 1 lakh years and meanwhile it discovered the fire. Brain of 50,000 year old man had been sufficiently evolved to the extent that it could be considered as member of the class wise man that is homo sapiens. Neanderthal man can be considered as the first example of wise man. The Cro-Magnon man evolved about 50,000 years ago and afterwards this evolution had been faster than earlier. About 10,000 years ago, wise man started to practice agriculture. It started to rear the cattle herds and establish the cities. Cultural development took place. Art of writing was invented about 5000 years ago and thus the history had been started. Modern science emerged about 400 years ago. An industrial society was established about 200 years ago. Now, 
We have reached at this stage and still we are searching the details of roots of human ancestry. This picture depicts the journey of human. The first ancient animal, they were looking like lemurs, then evolved Egyptopithecus, then Dryopithecus, Ramapithecus, Australopithecus, then scaled human, then man with erect posture, Neanderthal man, and then Cro Magnon man. This was the history of human evolution. Thank you.